Yo, and today I got Ethiopian again. Better with the chicken and the egg banger. One of the most highly requested comments, try Ethiopian food. First time trying Ethiopian food. Yo, and today I got Ethiopian food. We're gonna start off with the sambusa. This is good, well seasoned. There's only one thing I don't like about it. The chicken is dry. No. Mm -mm. This is kitfo. For those of you who don't know, this is basically raw meat. Personally, I never took my meat raw. Mmm. Mmm. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually good. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna like it raw. That's crazy. It's like well seasoned, got a little spice to it. To be honest, I can't even tell if it's raw. Give it to me raw any day. Next up, we got Dorawat. Okay, okay. Mm. I just might finish this whole plate. Mm. I feel like in order for me to enjoy Ethiopian food, it has to be like one of the last options. I just don't like the fact that the angela is sour. So my Ethiopian, if you guys are ever having a cookout, don't forget your invite your boy, man. Trying Ethiopian food for the first time. Starting off with the sambusas. The potatoes gushing out. Strong garlic, veggie type of taste. I got their injera bread. Almost has the same texture as pancakes or crepes. Very spongy texture. Smells really plain. It looks like it will have a sweet type of flavor. Honestly, looks like it would taste like chocolate. I thought this would be bland and plain. It's super sour. The flavor caught me so off guard. Next is the Dorawat. This is their chicken in a spicy sauce. Some injera with the chicken. The injera is way better with the chicken. It soaks up all the juices. Here goes the boiled egg. Injera with the chicken and the egg banger. This chicken has some strong garlic, some strong ginger. That's all of the flavor I'm tasting. Very tomatoey. Not really that spicy. Next is the Awaze Tibbs. I got all this from Taste of Ethiopia in Southfield, Michigan. And then we go. Look at the red sauce. This one is way more buttery. It squeezed like some lemon in there. I like how the butter and the lemon work so well together. I rate everything a 9.8. Customer service was amazing. Everything was way better than I thought. I like it, I approve, and yes, I would try it again. First time trying Ethiopian food here in Ethiopia with our wonderful guide, Teddy, who just showed us the proper way, which Again, I'm a beginner, so we take the anjata, this unique Ethiopian bread, yeah. and we kind of go in here in the middle with, we have all different kinds of ingredients, and I'm just gonna kind of like pick off some, hopefully I don't take too much of this, all right. I'm just gonna pick off a couple, <laughs> <laughs> or try. Yeah. All right, and then just yeah, shove yeah. it in. You're a good student. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, honestly, honestly. Yeah. Love it. Best Ethiopian yet. Yes. Of course, it's in Ethiopia. This is real and authentic Ethiopian food with authentic Ethiopian recipe. Ma this Mahibarawi. Mahibarawi. Uh, or in English, they can say, please bring a food called socialization. Socialization. Yeah. Yes, you know, <laughs> there we go. In one plate. <laughs> uh, one of the most highly requested comments try Ethiopian food. I got myself some Durawat. I've only had Ethiopian food once, and it was like 10 years ago, but I remember it being really good. You're supposed to eat everything with this like sour, spongy bread called injera. Scoop some chicken, dunk it in the rest of the juice. That is so good. You can tell it's been stewing for a very long time because the flavor is so developed. Usually you get this on a platter with a bunch of side salads, but it's a ton of food, so I didn't get it. Try some of this egg. I honestly forgot how good this was. They also make their own cottage cheese. Let's give it a shot. Mm. If all cottage cheese tasted like this, nobody would hate it. With one of my highest ratings, I would give Ethiopian food a 9.4 out of 10. Phenomenal. All you can eat Ethiopian food in Sydney.
We started with spicy minced beef and pastry filled with lentils. The main was this huge share platter. We used this spongy flatbread called injera to scoop up the food and soak up the sauce. After some refills, we ended with pineapple ice cream and coffee. Today we're trying Ethiopian food for the first time. And I gotta say, <laughs> this smells really good, bruh. First we'll be trying the lamb. Ooh. Yo, hear me out. Do not let the size of this meat fool you, man. Soft, tender, flavorful. Then you add peppers and onions to this bitch. We got some injera. Thought this was a damn towel. Let's load this puppy up. Oh my god. Lentils. Mm. You know, these should be called little busted babies. Because whatever they marinated this in, when you bite into it, everything just busts all in your mouth. Glitter. I ain't never seen a yellow potato before. Mm. All right, it's smack. Soft, mushy, drippy. Doesn't have too much flavor to it, but just enough flavor to make you wet. I gotta go 9-3 on the Ethiopian food, man. Delicious. Cheers. I love mineral water. Oh, that's good. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Type of bean in here, or like, oh, yeah, kind of like lentils or something. Review on a popular Ethiopian dish called Dorwa. The country of Ethiopia has been very good to daddy when it comes to delivering good food. So I hope this serves. Come on, Jira. We're gonna just grab this for daddy. Ooh, just like that. In the name of Jesus. God. Ethiopia, if y'all cooking food like this every day, I might just move up. So the door wat, which is the chicken, beautiful bitch. I mean, the meat is just falling off the bone, my god. And it's smothered in this incredibly thick spice blend. See how juicy that bitch is? It's definitely spicy and oily, but it's really earthy. Is that an egg, bitch? See, this right here changes up the game. We're gonna do the egg and the chicken, bitch. Oh. I know I said this was a little spicy, but this egg right here just bounced everything out. Nine, two. First, let's try their Sambusa. The crispiness on this is insane. I'm pretty sure this is filled with lentils. The spices in here is so good, but it's hitting the back of my throat and it's making me want to cough. It's like a very strong pepper fill. Ooh. I'm gonna try this injera alone first. Oh. I don't know if I like this. This is their beef tips. I also got their deluxe veggie combo. First bite. Oh, wow. Their beef tips is seasoned so well. It's so oniony and garlicky. The beef tips here come with some red powder. I'm gonna dip this. And then now I'm gonna dip this. I love dishes where you can mix and match and get so many different flavors. And the flavors all go so well together. And I also like to eat with my hand. Mm. Got all this food. Sure, sure. Located in Washington, D.C. Worth it. I'm trying Ethiopian food for the first time. Let's do it. Okay, so I got the meat sampler. I don't know what is what, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna put everything on the screen of everything I ordered. But um, I don't know why I've never had Ethiopian food before because I love dipping. Um, I love trying new things, so it's it's surprising to me, but I'm happy I'm trying it now. This is the in injetta Ethiopian bread. Everything is warm, so don't come for me. This I know is the chicken, so let's give it a try. It looks like it's it's in like onions and tomatoes or peppers. Look at that. There's also some spices in there. The chicken is, is tender. That's good. I'm pretty sure this is beef. Literally melts in your mouth. Mm. Oh, there's a kick to that one. Spices just <clears throat> cook your mouth. <coughs> okay, that last one got me crying. It was delicious and I love the spice. I just know not to use that much. I wonder if it's okay to like mix and match because um, I'd like to get a little bit of the, the heat too. This is so good. The sourness at the end when eating the injera, it's like a sour, a sour taste, but in the best way. I think this is the lamb. I love lamb, so I'm not. Mm. 
This is amazing. This is for me. I love it.